Okay, so uh, it is another Sunday shopping and um, a couple of weeks ago I went to Home Bargains and I was looking for organisation stuff and quite a few people recommended the range. I haven't been to the range in ages. I usually come at Christmas time, it's always really cool at Christmas time. I already can't wait for Christmas by the way. I used to have a Vlogmas Facebook group um, with my friend Emma and I think we're bringing it back. If we have already, I will link it below. Uh, not bringing it back so much as like retaking it from what it became. Um, and if you are a super Christmas person and you want somewhere that you can talk about Christmas things uh, with no fear of persecution, because obviously you can't talk about Christmas things, it's very early in the year for that, but there are those of us that really want to. That is going to be what that group is going to be. We're going to be doing Christmas early over there. And if you're into it, Go and check it out um anyway that's not what this video is about this video is about the range we're gonna do a little um walk around i'm gonna go and have a look at some scrapbook stuff you may or may not know i'm really into scrapbooking don't have a lot of time for it these days but i do always come to the range when i look for that stuff and i'm in the market for a label maker so let's go and see what we can find already this thing right up ahead i have this in my bedroom and so many people have asked about it so i'm really happy to see it here you can actually go and get it right now from the range and i got it from here ages and ages ago I truly could spend an entire day just looking at the artwork stuff. So, you know, like all these little things. I have to really kind of keep it in check because I would just have little tiny little bits, which I know doesn't look good when you have too much. You know, less is more. Um, but I love the little, little, little bits, little signs, little wooden things. Um, like these. I love it so much. But you only need a couple in the house with you, don't you? Do I need this one? Also, historically, the cheapest place to buy mirrors. This is very nice. I really like that one. Um, cheapest place that you can buy mirrors. Like a really, this is 40 pounds, this huge mirror. Mirrors are expensive. I know, for, ooh, what are these? These are nice. Um, I know 40 pounds is expensive, but it's not as expensive as it can be. Mirrors, seriously. If you want a really big mirror, you can spend a lot of money. Okay, so I don't know if you know this, but I actually record these on my phone. Number one, it's easier because I can just decide like on the spur of the moment that I want to film one, but also it's a little bit less conspicuous if I'm on my own filming to film with my phone because it's kind of normal for people to be filming things on with their phone now, you know, Instagram stories and stuff. Anyway, so I do that a lot. The quality's not too bad. Um, it pretty much works. But this is the thing that drives me crazy. Quite frequently, I think I'm recording and so I end up missing loads of clips. I actually record the in-between parts and not the parts where I'm talking to you about something. So imagine my frustration when like, I feel like 50% of the clips, I was like, ah! So I missed a load of kids stuff, but we're gonna return. You're not missing everything, but there was a lot of stuff here that I talked about for kind of like crafts for school holidays and stuff. You'll just have to piece it together, just imagine. These I love, I've had loads of these in the past. If you do scrapbooking, they are amazing. Basically just like whole pads of paper that you can use as backgrounds and like you can do cutouts and things, all different themes love it it's just so many like niche very specific things <laughs> you can only imagine once it's christmas i'm like oh i'm gonna need everything i love a box like i've had so many little boxes for the kids over the years like you get boxes like this and then you paint them kids love a secret box milo's gonna have his friend down at some point in the holidays and i've been thinking of getting them like a little craft that they can do outside in the garden um you know like a secret box that kind of thing oh my god look Tables and chairs, tables and chairs for dolls. This is so cute. But yeah, maybe like a little box each. That would be that would be a sweet little thing for um, them to kind of, because they're both like kid kids. Like they're not video game kids. They're not like, you know, not to say that's a bad thing. Just saying they're still little, they're still like young um, and they like make believe and all that stuff. So I feel like a little magical box is, is maybe a nice thing. Okay, this might be the only label maker. I used to have an electronic one like that. I maybe would get another one. But I really wanted one of those ones where it's like an embossed label maker. I'm not seeing any more. You know when we were looking for makeup storage the other week? How gorgeous are these? I mean, these actually would be perfect for scrapbooking things. They don't really go on my decor downstairs. But this would have been amazing. This would have been absolutely perfect. Nine pounds. Also tons more storage as well, even for just like separating things. You guys are right. The range is where it's at. Oh my God, you remember these tiny little dustbins? I may even have spoken too soon. Like, why didn't I come here? There's more! Oh my god. Oh my god, Mod Podge. Oh my actual god. I've only ever seen that in American YouTube videos. Oh, this is like crafters heaven right now. Fimo. 
Oh my God, have I got to do FIMO? This is going to be a very crafty summer. Okay, I've got to get away from this because this is getting crazy. Um, so we're going to venture out slightly into the homeware, which is just as dangerous, let's be honest. This whole thing makes me wish we were getting married again. <laughs> it's like we did pretty much everything at our wedding. Like everything was like DIY. And I don't think I ever came to the range for things. Maybe it wasn't so much of a thing then, but now there's so much to do with weddings, like so much DIY wedding stuff. Does anybody like me to throw them a wedding? Because I need an excuse. Now I'm wondering whether or not I am gonna be able to find any of those little mirrors. I'm kind of collecting small brass or like a dark gold framed mirrors um, for above our bed. I'm thinking maybe I'll find one in here. Maybe not, but I might just be massively overwhelmed by the amount of stuff in here. I could well be in here, I'm just not seeing it. I do feel like I'm walking around like, <laughs> so many aisles and as you walk through like, oh, oh, light, oh, it's full furniture. I can never get enough of the lighting section. Oh, I really like those lamps. The lighting section in these places of like, oh. I like this a lot. Um, wouldn't go in my house, but I like the idea of like, instead of a dining table, like a bar and bar stools. That's really cool. Oh, there it is over there. It is 139.99. Not too shabby. Also similar desk configurations that we saw in, or to the ones rather that we saw in uh, B&M. Like that one, that leaning one there, it's like a shelf, but it's also a desk. I like that. I also really like these ladder shelves. Never really found a space in any house for them, but I have historically enjoyed them. I take it back, I want this dining table and the bench. I like the idea of a bench. So here's the thing. I don't like the bench and two chairs. I don't like the, the imbalance of that. I think I would have to either have the chairs or two benches. I understand that, you know, that's not necessarily gonna work, but I don't know, what do you think? I think I'm done. Ooh, oh my God, there's a beauty section. I'm not done. Okay, all bets are off. There's so many things here that I never knew I always needed. This is actually really cool. So it looks like a jukebox, but it's still basically just a Bluetooth speaker. I legit had absolutely no idea that they sold food in here. This is like a dark corner. You have to kind of get out of the way to come into it. Oh, I need to get some of these. Milo loves these straws. <laughs> this is brilliant, this is brilliant. So for those of you that um, are kind of vaguely aware, Ella steals my stuff all the time, like skincare, makeup and stuff. This is like a tiny little gel. It's supposed to, jail rather, not gel. It's supposed to be for um, tones, but I could totally put some other stuff in there. I mean, she could in theory just take the whole thing though. I think you know I love that lamp. Really, they're hitting the yellow hard everywhere at the moment and I am here for it. Okay, so you know I said um, label maker, number one, and number two was scrapbooking. I came out with none of those things. I'm just gonna quickly show you everything that I got. Um, I got Milo, and this is the majority of the stuff is gonna be like for me and Milo to do, because Ella, she's nearly 14. She's not so much into this stuff anymore. Um, I got him like a scrapbook activity book thing for the summertime. I'm sure he will blast through this in a couple of days. Never stops drawing, but we can come back. I was thinking, um, I've got him some stuff, I thought it might be kind of an activity for us to do, to come back and get some stuff for him to do when his friend comes around. So we're gonna do that separately. So I got him this. I got him a bunch of um, dinosaur stickers. He will get a real kick out of this. Puffy stickers, do you remember these? These were amazing. So these were all a pound. Um, these just like metallic ones. These glow in the dark ones. What I was thinking was, he could, oh, that's not gonna work, is it? Because they need to be exposed to light. I was gonna say he could put, I mean, he still could. He could put these inside that box. If he left the box open and then closed it, I know. Uh, and then when it gets dark, he can open it and they'll glow. That's what I was thinking. I don't know, just crazy. Um, and then these ones, which are kind of like holographic. They've got kind of like an extra holographic-y element to them. That's pretty cool. And then what else did I get? Oh yeah, the chocolate straws. I got some different kinds of FIMO, what different colors of FIMO green. We're gonna go dinosaurs, obs. Uh, and then I just got primary colors. These are the primary colors, right? I was stood there thinking, there used to be a song that I sang in the car with my grandma and it was red, yellow, and blue. The primary colors. Does anybody remember that? No. And then, you know, when you just like really, really basic stuff and you start doubting yourself and you're like, is there another one? I'm pretty sure these are the only ones. So I got those, but given again that I know we're gonna go dinosaur heavy, I also got, cause they were four for 10 pounds. I also got this, 
which is clearly like a knockoff of FIMO, polymer oven bake clay, and I'm presuming that they go together, but who knows? And this is just like four different kinds of green. And that was just $1.99. I got um, some FIMO tools. I wouldn't usually get like the branded tools, but they were pretty much the same price as all the other ones as well. And these were $2.99, so whatever. Um, so yeah, some tools. And I think other than that, it's just the box. Pretty sure that was all I got, I think. Oh my God, it is so hot in this car right now. I'm gonna have to just like move along and open all of these windows because oh, it's like everything's dripping off my face. I must also mention because um, I filmed things ahead of time and uh, I did my favorite. So that will have gone up. When will that have gone up? Last week? I don't know. In the last few videos, you will have seen my favorites. Um, and it kind of, it works out like monthly. They, it still is a monthly favorites. It's just, you're seeing them later if you're with me. Uh, it's just, especially over the summer holidays, I want to get myself um, where I'm not like scrambling to film stuff. And so I can take those days with the kids and just not have to do anything at all. Uh, and so I am quite ahead of myself right now, but in my favorites, um, I mentioned various things, but after that video, I discovered something I absolutely am completely obsessed with. And it is the matte setting spray from Primark. If you can get your hands on it, go and get it. I've got it on today. Um, and it's clearly not kept me completely matte because I'm very glowy. It's very warm. And right now it seriously is like, my car feels like, it's like when you just, step off an airplane just like hit with a wall of heat um but it keeps my makeup absolutely perfect i've been using it for a few days now and the biggest difference that i've seen even if i need to block some part of the day uh, i need to i feel like i need to kind of block the oil a little bit nothing really comes out like i use tissue paper when i go to the bathroom um and usually i'll see a decent amount of foundation on that tissue paper just like very gently blotting and really nothing at all so it obviously is holding the makeup onto my face even if i'm still getting a little bit of a glow through it but i wanted to mention that for those of you that maybe don't follow me on instagram because i do talk about things as and when they happen i did do an igtv drunken review of that when i first got it um so just in case you didn't see that, I wanted to mention it because it is great. And it's one of those things, you just never know whether or not it's going to still be available uh, by the time you want it again. When it's Primark and stuff, I'm not always convinced that I want to fall in love with something from Primark because they tend to um, kind of have products come and go. A little bit like the Aldi stuff. Anyway, I gotta go because otherwise I'm going to sweat through my clothes. That's not attractive. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. It was a bit random <laughs> because I didn't know what I, well, I did know what I was going in for, but I think I'm going to end up buying that on Amazon. Um, and we came out with all kinds of other stuff. If you are interested, I may do like a scrapbooky video. I've always put it off in the past because they're obviously quite personal, personal photos and stuff, things that I don't always share, but I may do kind of like a same with like plan with me, which I don't really do. Um, but I used to be into like the stickers and stuff. Um, but I, I don't want to kind of, there's a, there's a line to what I'll share. So, which you might not, <laughs> there is. Um, so I, I may do that kind of like some basic, idea of this is how I do it this is what my scrapbooks look like but let me know if you would be interested maybe at least I'll go through some like old baby book type things I don't know we'll see uh, but thank you for watching if you enjoy this kind of content every single Sunday I do shop with me um, and in between I do other stuff mostly beauty and all kinds so yeah thanks for watching again probably the third time I've said that I'm gonna go now because it's very very hot every time I'm going out the same things keep happening new boys